Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a date slicer. Date slicers make it really convenient for you to input date selections into your report. And the way we create a date slicer is we just go ahead and create any old slicer and throw in any date field into the slicer. And that automatically creates a date slicer for you. Um, there are a few different options to make a, a date slicer work the way you want it. By default, it's going to default to between. Between just gives you um, two inputs here and you have a slider that allows you to set the first date you want to show and the last date you want to show. And that's pretty easy. You can type in a date here or it gives you this little date picker that you can choose from or just use the slider. The slider is optional. You have this slider tab. Um, you can turn it on or off. It'll be on by default. A couple more options you have with the date slicer is you have a before, which basically deactivates your first input date and basically give, uh, says, give me all the data um, from the first date to whatever date I specify. Uh, oppositely, you have the after, which um, deactivates the last date and you just set the first date input. Um, then you have the regular old list that you have with any slicer which gives you all of your data just to choose from. Um, similarly you also have the drop down which is like any other slicer as well. But the really cool feature that you have with date slicers are the uh, is the relative date slicer which allows you to select a last number of periods or you can even do a next number of periods or this period. So it's pretty cool. Let me walk you through that. So you, you have, um, you can specify days, weeks, months, or years and how many of those periods that you want to select. Like if I want to do the last three weeks, it shows me this time frame from March 24th through April 13th and it shows me all of my data or similarly last, let's do last one, last one year gives me everything uh, that gives me everything actually for the last three years because I had three selected. Let's go ahead and go to months and back to years. Okay, everything from the last one year which would be April 14th, 2017 to April 13th, 2018. Um, another distinction is last one calendar year, which is basically the last one completed calendar year. So it's all of 2017. It doesn't have any 2018 data. Um, so if you're choosing calendar, uh, that needs you should make that distinction because uh, it only shows the last completed period. Um, you also have next, which will show you data in the future, which I don't have any, any in my table, but it works the exact same way. Um, or you have a this period, so in this calendar year, meaning uh, January 1st, 2018 through uh, December 31st, 2018. So, or this week shows us this week's data. So it's pretty flexible um, and you can do a lot of cool things with the date slicer. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.